Hey everybody, welcome to Spot on Psychic Readings. This is Tammy and I'm here to do your weekly reading. Thank you all so much for your patience um, while I took last week off because it was um, a bit of a rough week to say the least. So thank you for your kind words, I appreciate that. So Sparky and Chippy are here to help me do your readings today. I'm gonna give them their cookie and let them take a nap. <laughs> and I'm gonna dive into your readings. Thanks for being here. Good to see you all again, I missed you. Beautiful Sagittarius, we're going to dive right into your reading today. Hope you guys are doing great, and my dogs and I are very happy to see you today. Let's see, Sag, thank you all so much for all of your nice comments on the last video. I love reading for Sagittarius, as you know, so let's see what is coming in. Pretty clear energy, and I got the goosebumps, so that's always a good sign. Chippy, are you going to pick a card? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Chippy. Thank you. Let's see. Somebody last week, I usually get the nicest comments, first of all, but somebody last week um, was like, lose the dogs. <laughs> sake yeah <laughs> block <laughs> okay and here's what you don't see coming lose the dogs are you kidding me they're they're like my biggest helpers okay so let's see what's coming in sag for you which one is this we've got an extra card oops an extra card coming out here sorry chippy i didn't mean to bump you Let's see. Okay. Interesting, Satch. This is so cool. <laughs> First of all, I'm liking this reading for you already, and I am just buzzing with energy right now. I'm just buzzing. So that means there's a lot of energy. It means I'm very tuned into you. It means there's a lot of messages here for you. So here we go. Um, we have got the first card up there may be some kind of sneaky energy around you, and I'm gonna have to clarify this and see where this is coming from, but something sneaky with the Seven of Swords energy. I'm already feeling like somebody from afar might be sending you bad energy. I mean, this is often a theft card or something, but I'm not really feeling theft. I'm feeling sneaky. <laughs> sneaky, creepy, stalking, um, bad energy, okay? And, but the rest of this reading is really good, but I think you do need to know about this. And the reason this is coming up first is because this is kind of a overlay. This could be affecting um, good outcomes. I see good outcomes on the rest of this. So this could be kind of affecting, it needs to be cleared, but we'll look into that, okay? Yeah, I feel clearing. I do, I feel clearing a lot. Okay, so we've got, your crossing card is Ace of Pentacles, guys. This is such a good card, and this is definitely telling me there's going to be some kind of new beginning in money, but it might come with some sort of a challenge, you know, for you at this time. We'll clarify it and see where that goes, but the good news is there's there's money. There's good finances and um, new beginnings and excitement and uh, maybe a trip to the beach for some of you. There, there's some really, really good things here and some things starting to bloom, as you can see in those flowers, okay? So when we go over here, there's a couple of things here um, in your energy there is the Queen of Swords. We saw this last reading too. We saw the Queen of Swords with you all, um, like you're holding back from something. You might have shut off your emotions due to having been hurt before. You know, there might be a lack of trust. You might be really testing people, holding people at a distance, cutting things out that don't work, those sorts of things. Underneath that, there's a card of victory eluding you at this time. The Six of Wands reversed, and it could be because you're holding back on something. So there's a little bit of a Warning might be too strong of a word, but there's a little bit of something there, a little message from the universe. Um, open your heart up a little bit, Sag, and don't be afraid because you might be missing an opportunity where you're really going to have a big victory, okay? Well, again, we'll clarify this, okay? So there's a couple of things here that are interesting that I feel like have just happened. There may be some kind of new energy, new path, maybe a feeling of um, someone is being impulsive or maybe you're being impulsive and it's surrounding a king of pentacles now king of pentacles is somebody very grounded most of the time but it's coming up next to the full reversed 
So this might be somebody ready to take a risk. You know, might be ready to take a risk with you and maybe that's scaring you off, Sag, a little bit at this time. Um, there's something there, again, about opening your heart, thinking logically, a lot of um, communication, a lot of communication going on probably with this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles sometimes is an earth sign, not always, but a lot of times is, you know, Taurus, Virgo, um, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, okay, Taurus, Virgo, fill in the blank, you'll have to Google that one, I'm sorry, it's escaping me at this time but there's some kind of a really new beginning here with this person. I feel like this has already started a little bit because it's showing up like may have already started. So I can't wait to clarify that for you guys and see where that's going. Now, in your immediate future, you're going to love this Ouch. Um, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah, this is like super good. This is, I love seeing this card. I get really excited because this card doesn't come up all the time. You know, other cards do. They repeat they come up a lot this one does not this one is kind of saves it for when it really means it you know that's what I that's how my cards tend to work wheel of fortune means you're having a whole change in luck okay and I feel like some of you are just coming up on that so you may be you know the wheel turns all the time right so you may be down here right now coming up and you just don't see it yet because I know some of you, and I've heard this from you, like, oh, my luck's not good right now at all. That's because it's on its way back up, okay? I feel this change in luck. I can't wait to clarify this. So you've got Ace of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune so far here, <laughs> okay? All right, let's keep going. Oh, this is so good. Look at this. Some, I got a huge wave of goosebumps on this Eight of Pentacles for you, all, Sag. Some of you are really starting a new business. I feel like there's a lot of entrepreneur energy with this. There's a lot of um, starting a new creative project, a lot of creativity. I feel like some of you are doing, I, I don't know where this is coming from because this is not really the meaning of this card, but I hear angel communication. Some of you are doing a lot of angel communication at this time and you're really um, gonna start some business with that. I, I know that sounds crazy, probably, or not. <laughs> right? Probably not. But there's something happening here because I felt this heat wave come through when I pulled this card, like the way um, Archangel Michael comes through and, you know, with a lot of heat when he comes through. There is something happening here for a lot of you where you're going to a higher level. There's a lot of spiritual awakening with this new business, okay? So it could be you're going to quit your corporate job and do what your soul calling feels like at this time and what your soul calling is and also I, I just feel like there's something really creative really heart-centered and like from the depths of your soul coming up with this entrepreneur card satch really important really really important okay here's the high priestess this is in your energy it is reversed somebody seeing you as secretive and you've also got this, you know, sneaky energy as what's significant. Now, this isn't you. This is somebody else kind of hovering in your energy. But I think maybe they're hovering because they think you're being secretive. They're projecting. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. So there's something here about somebody thinking you're holding back or you're not being completely honest or what's really going on with you. And somebody's wondering <laughs> about that, okay? Because this is how other people are seeing you at this time. Now, some of you have had a love offer. Here's Knight of Cups coming up, Sagittarius. And I feel like this is in your hopes and fears. It's like you're hoping for this. You're hoping for this love offer. And at the same time, you may have gotten this love offer, maybe even from this King of Pentacles. And you're like, uh-oh, <laughs> all the red alerts went off, okay? So in your hopes and fears position, Here's the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is all about a new love offer. And I am feeling that. I am seeing um, love offers here. There's also this Ace of Cups coming up. Came up reverse for some of you. So I'm feeling like for some of you, it's like you're afraid to trust this love offer. You may be holding back on something. You may be being too logical, you know, to connect with it. There could be a lot of different things here because this is in your hopes and fears. It's like, yeah, I've wanted this, but Maybe there's a delay. Maybe it's not going exactly the way you had thought it was going to be and that sort of thing. But there is a love offer here, okay? And your final outcome is I see that you have walked away from something for good, okay? For some of you, you might have walked away from this new love offer, okay? For some of you, but I feel like for more of you, 
what's happened here is you're finally letting completely go of whatever the past was that may hurt you, you know, that may have put you in this Queen of Swords position. Let's do some clarification and see what we get here. Sagittarius, first of all, who's this sneaky energy? Let's see what that's about. Who's this? Why is Seven of Swords so significant with Sagittarius right now? By the way, I already pre-shuffled, so um, here's something. Hmm. There's some sneaky energy around a new project or collaboration with somebody for some of you. Maybe a sneaky coworker, uh, maybe somebody you need to watch out for with money or on the job maybe queen of wands for some of you she can be a fire sign she can be you know aries sag leo uh, there's something here about the sagittarius feel strong sagittarius this could be sagittarius this could be you dealing with a sneaky sagittarius okay well, you know the reversed kind of sagittarius person because hmm. queen of wands is a career woman often for some of you it's on the job so you need to be aware of that and this is somebody who is drawn to your light, but they may not be of the light themselves, okay, with the sun card. What else do we need to know about the sneaky person? Oh, <laughs> here it is again. Eight of cups, twice, as what you don't see coming, something you've walked away from, and here it is again. So I feel like whoever it is you said goodbye to is lingering and lurking around I, I feel like they're stalking you it could be um, connected in some way with this queen of wands energy okay could be another Sagittarius it could be or like I said a fire sign energy or somebody on the job somebody who's stalking you because of your career let me see what else I'm really well I'm really curious um, about this let's see really curious about how this is playing out hold on what does Sag need to know about that because a lot of these cards are really clear that one to me was murky and it was meant to be <laughs> it's a murky energy you know what can I say yeah this is somebody who is um, sees you in the limelight there's a there's the star card here it's something about they're seeing you in the limelight they're seeing you succeeding they're seeing you getting your victory and they're lurking around. It may have, may have been somebody you worked with. It may have been somebody on a previous job, business partner. Could have been a relationship partner. But this is somebody who's seeing your success, seeing you shine, seeing the light. The sun came up. Let's see what else. Sag. Why is that so significant right now? Hmm. It's somebody immature. Here's the fool reversed, and this came up over here too. There's somebody who, I, I get a really immature vibe. So either they're a younger person or they're emotionally immature, playing game, you know, they're a game player, that kind of thing, maybe a player. Yeah, they're seeing your glow up, Sag, they are. They're seeing this wheel of fortune, which also showed up in your future. They, they see you being successful, and I feel like they're, why are they lurking around? I feel like they, they want a piece of this in some way. Oh, they want justice. So it may be somebody that you had a lawsuit with and they're still angry. Here's five of swords. This person's really angry at you about something and they're seeing your glow up right now and they're really jealous and I feel like they're just lingering around stalking you. What does Sag need to know or do about this? Let's see. <laughs> protect yourself with any divine sources that you trust like God like um, talk to your guardian angels talk to Archangel Michael this is the Hierophant um, the other meaning of this this could have been someone you were previously married to or someone who married somebody else or something about a marriage or commitment or dedication or com commitment about the sneaky person and what you need to know could be the new person they married Something about marriage. Something about marriage comes through. And also you turning this over to a higher power. You might be getting a message from somebody. Who are you going to get a message? Oh, you're going to get a message from this younger person. Here's Page of Cups right next to Page of Wands. I think there's drama from a past person. And we are in Mercury retrograde. So, 
yeah not kind of not even surprised about that okay let's uh let's see what else do we want to clarify here Sagittarius that was that was kind of a big one and you did need to know about seven of swords you know this is somebody who really would like to steal something from you um, sneaking around not being honest and they were probably doing that when you were involved with them too so yeah they were I feel that I feel that really strongly okay so let's ask about why is your ace of pentacles moving on away from the old energy <laughs> this old energy went to hijack your reading so there it was um, ace of pentacles why is that a challenge for Sag at this time ace of pentacles is a windfall you know success money coming in potentially extra money look at all these cards flying out <laughs> got ten of cups it could be coming with a new relationship that would lead to some sort of commitment happiness that kind of thing um, yeah look at this ace of wands right next to it a lot of passion new passionate new beginnings fiery new beginnings also we've got the six of Pentacles and we've got the uh, six of wands right here a lot of success here in generosity so I'm feeling like in some ways your ace of Pentacles is going to come through generosity a whole new beginning passionate new beginning potentially a new relationship maybe even a marriage for some of you yes i said the m word <laughs> i know it's a scary thing for sagittarius you know you don't like to be trapped and sometimes i know sagittarius feels you're always looking out for a trap you know i'm sagittarius too so i mean i get it i'm not being judgy with you guys i mean i get it i know how sag is and um new fiery new beginnings that might lead to marriage might feel scary um, but also there's generosity here. I feel like whoever you are involved with at this time or will be, it's creating a challenge because of all these things. You're afraid you're getting trapped and do you want to accept generosity? You know, will that indebt you to something? You know, I hear all these doubts coming up. I hear your whole queen of swords thing that we saw earlier in your energy. I hear all of that. This, that's why this is a challenge, but it is coming up, Sag, okay? So I would say, consider it. Let's look at Queen of Swords for a minute. Why is this in Sagittarius energy along with this winning, not winning? Maybe because you don't accept it. Let's see. And you might want to reconsider accepting it, okay? Because they're like, here's the victory. Here's the new beginnings. Here's the fiery passion. Here's the money. Here's the King of Pentacles. Here's a lot of good things. And... Um, it's about opening up. So let's see. Why Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords is clarified by some sort of new project. Three of Pentacles. Collaborating with someone. Okay. Potentially a new job. Here's Queen of Wands again. Hmm. So... Uh, this could be you the queen of wands definitely can be you know a sagittarius energy i think underneath this queen of swords that i'm seeing let me show you the cards underneath queen of swords we've got you might be collaborating or meeting a queen of wands or you might be this person this might be two facets of your personality at this time it's like this is the real you but this is who you had to become to get through the pain and hurt and betrayals that you went through the last six months or six years or 10 years. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And now it's about collaboration. And I feel like this is in your mind. Like, do I want to form something with somebody else? Do I want to let somebody in? Do I want to trust somebody either in a business partnership or romantic partnership? And this person may be King of Cups. You might be um, as being asked, do you want to collaborate with this person? And I feel like this person has the ability to warm you back up, Sagittarius, like to open your heart. This person's very heart-centered, this King of Cups. And they're very good communicator, good listener, that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Um, Sagittarius, let's put King of Cups back. What's this victory this, that might be eluding you at this time? Okay, let's look at the Six of Wands energy. Okay. 
okay um, we've got three of ones you haven't seen this coming in yet this is waiting for your ships to come in but there are new opportunities there with you might you might be feeling like where is my victory and it hasn't shown up yet and I said that earlier with the wheel of fortune it's like if you're not seeing the change of luck yet it's because you're on the bottom side of the wheel but you're coming up you're coming up into it okay what else do we need to know and let's ask about king of pentacles that showed up over here yeah here we have again this three of pentacles work card there's something about collaboration that's coming in either in a business or relationship now um i'm not sure where i put king of pentacles i think my cards got mixed up but we had king of pentacles next to the reversed fool okay so and i feel like you've already met this king of pentacles or connected with this person in some way and let's ask about that person that person does look like they're going into maybe going into the past for some of you but for a lot of you i feel like it's just started and it's changing your luck so it kind of depends on where you are on the on the time frame let's see king of pentacles clarification there it is again three of pentacles this has shown up three or four times now so i feel like you're going to be collaborating bringing something together, working on something with this person. You're going to be working with a Sagittarius, some of you. Or this person, this King of Cups or King of Pentacles, is bringing out your fire energy again. Okay? So it's changing you from this Queen of Swords over to this Queen of Wands. Or you're collaborating with the Queen of Wands. It's going to be a little different for everybody because it's a collective reading, but take what fits. Okay, don't try to make it fit if it's not you. Yeah, here's the star again. So there's something here, Sag, about you being in the limelight, maybe collaborating with somebody that brings a big victory, somebody who's being very generous, somebody who's a good listener. And then sneaky person jumped in. Here's seven of swords again. As soon as I pulled the star card and you being in the limelight, I feel like somebody is stalking you trying to figure out what's going on like why is Sag being so successful like who's in their life or what are they doing yeah and here's King of Pentacles so King of Pentacles is somebody who's moving into your past now for some of you this is who's who the sneaky person is for some of you you have met this person and the sneaky person is watching you connect with King of Pentacles and wondering what's going on there could be a marriage. Again, there's either a marriage with King of Pentacles or this old person who's being sneaky that's kind of stalking you at this time. Maybe you used to be married to them or they have remarried and that person's stalking you. Could be some of all of it. Because I feel like there's been a messy situation, Sag. I mean, I'm, I'm getting like, there's a lot of people here, you know, and there's people from the past and there's people from the future. And there's people you haven't even met yet. There's opportunities you haven't even seen come through yet. And I feel like all of this is colliding right now. And it's bringing up a lot of stuff. It's bringing up a lot of energy and a lot of stuff. And stuff you've walked away from. Here is, for the third time, the Eight of Cups energy. There's stuff you have definitely, you've walked away from some sort of a marriage or commitment. Um, a relationship, yeah, because there was competition. Here's Five of Wands. There was competition in some kind of really committed, dedicated relationship. And here's a King of Cups. So your competition could have been this person or you're meeting someone new because you've moved on from the old person. Let me see if I can get a little bit more clarification because like I said, there's so many people here. And of course, I'm reading for a big audience, so this can go in a lot of different directions and they're giving me so much on this. To sum it up so far, here's, she keeps coming up. Queen of Wands keeps coming up over and over. And I feel like this is you coming back into your fiery self from this, um, you know, more Queen of Swords energy. Somebody's seeing you having a glow up, Sag. Somebody's jealous. There was competition. I feel like there was a marriage that went on the rocks. I feel like that person's stalking you because they're seeing your success. They're seeing you on your glow up, okay? 
that's the main thing I see. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I'm not sure where this fit for you in this collective reading, and I think that's up to you to figure it out because it's going to be different for everybody. And it could be you left the King of Cups behind and now you're connecting with, um, I mean, the King of Pentacles, the money person, person focused on money a lot. You're leaving that person behind and you met this more emotional person. It could be the other way around. It could be your emotional person was also secretive and a player. We saw the player energy too. So again, take it as it resonates. Uh, it's going to be a little different for everybody, okay? Let's go over... This is such a deep reading. It's because I haven't read for you all for a week or so. So there's a lot coming through. Um, let's look at your Wheel of Fortune. In your media future, Sag, what is that about? More glow up, I imagine. Let's see. And I would look out, uh, just to reiterate, I would look out for a message from um, your old person's new person. In other words, if your person got married, I would look for their new marriage partner to potentially send you a message and it may not be a text message or something like that it could be through a dream okay and I feel like you're gonna be like why does this person leave me alone <laughs> you know I feel it feels like interference it does it really feels like interference like I feel like you wake up and you remember the dream you're like uh, them again <laughs> so just it's mercury retrograde what can I say all right your wheel of fortune is clarified by this Four of Cups energy. Let's see where this goes. Like, what do you want to do next? I feel like this is asking you the question, okay, so you filled up all those three cups. Here's another cup. What do you want to put in this one? <laughs> you know, it's like opportunities. Your Wheel of Fortune might involve, as I said earlier, a relationship or a marriage. Okay, because there's the Ten of Cups. I feel like you might be getting involved in some sort of a, um, you know, a long-term relationship here, Sag. Scary as that probably sounds to you right now. Here's a Queen of Pentacles, and I'm feeling like you're either getting into a relationship with, so, with um, someone who is very financially grounded, could be masculine or feminine, you know, whatever, whatever's your thing, right? And because we saw King of Pentacles, now here's Queen of Pentacles, right next to this marriage card. So for some of you, you're getting involved with somebody very grounded, maybe an earth sign. And um, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn really come to mind really strongly with that card, especially Capricorn. Capricorn comes to mind very strongly. Hmm. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of message of good news coming either from this person who is very grounded um, that you might be getting involved with that brings this change of luck, this improvement in your life, okay? Let's go over to this love offer. Let's ask about that for a minute. We've got this love offer, new beginnings in love, in your hopes and fears. <laughs> Let's see, Sag. I think we've had two relationship love readings for you all in a row. That's a record. You know, because I went for a long, long time, Sagittarius, like, no love, no love, no love on the horizon, no matter how far we looked, no love. And now suddenly every reading is like, new love offer, change of luck. <laughs> you're glowing, you've got the victories. It's like things have finally turned around in this very long cycle for Sagittarius, finally turned around so happy for you guys really i am yeah here's happiness too look at this three of cups there's some kind of love celebration this can also sometimes not always be a love card but in relation with these others ace of cups knight of cups three of cups there's something to celebrate here sagittarius as a final outcome okay well, I'm loving this reading for you guys. This was a super good reading. We didn't clarify all the cards, but I don't think we need to. Some of them are crystal clear. And um, I think the main thing you need to look out, out for is the sneaky person. Don't let them put a damper on things to the point that you keep yourself closed off and miss an opportunity, which was the main message that came up about this Queen of Swords being in your energy. 
and missing an opportunity of the Six of Wands, which is a victory card reversed. So, yeah, that's, I think that's what you need to know, Sag. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's great to connect with you all, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye now.